on today's episode. Welcome. Here are show repairs I've done and share the techniques and tools that I use. If you find this video valuable or even entertaining, uh, please subscribe as it really helps. It's great to get your feedback, so leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. Also check out the description below because there'll be additional information and some useful links. So this video is a continuation of my foray into uh, using OpenWRT on this uh, little uh, Nex router. And uh, to start with, I've gone into the configuration of, of that and set it up as a wireless access point. And I've also got a, a WAN connection to my router. So I can connect to the uh, internet to download um, the, the software that's, that's needed. Now, in the previous video, I mentioned that within OpenWRT, there's a thing called a package manager, uh, which um, the package that we need to, uh, to be able to connect our DSLR camera uh, to the router and have it recognized is called uh, the DD server, which I think is just device discovery or something. Um, but um, that doesn't come natively on with the OpenWRT uh, firmware, we have to install that. So I'm going to take you through how I, how I managed to do that and uh, we'll go from there. So here's the instructions on installing the uh, DD server package and as I've mentioned I think before this was actually for a different uh, router but it does contain the same MT7620 chipset so we should be good to go. So I've already started in a separate window the TerraTerm uh, SSH program as we need to get onto the router in that fashion. So let's just copy this and see how we get on. Okay, so far so good. So that appears to have all worked okay. Um, so now we'll get back onto the router and just check that that's installed. So what I'm going to do now through the, the standard OpenWRT interface is just to check that that package um, is available to us. Once we've logged on, simply go to the system and software and we can see the status here that uh, indeed our DD server software is installed. So the next thing to do will be to, uh, to give that a test. So just before we get into um, checking the um, DD server software and the router, uh, it's a good idea to check that everything else is working first. Now I have installed the DLSLR server on my phone. Now this version um, doesn't seem to be available on the Play Store anymore for some reason, only the, uh, only the paid version. And I prefer to know that things work. I mean, I'm not adverse to, uh, to paying the developer, but um, if I don't know it's, work, it's going to work, then uh, I'd rather find out first. So this, is, this application can use the USB port or the um, OpenWRT server. So what we need to do for checking it with the USB port 
is to use our old standby OTG adapter and if we plug that guy in and then we plug in the connection from the camera itself Um, we can see that it asks us for what we want to use it for and obviously you want to use it with the DLSR dashboard uh, just once for the moment so here we can see that it's found uh, the, the the camera and we need to switch on the live view and now we've got a, a copy of uh, what's on the on the uh, on the camera output so we know that everything is working certainly as far as USB is concerned. So we've checked the cable and uh, the application are, are, are talking. So camera, cable, phone, we're, we're, we're good to go with um, trying it now with the with the router. There's nothing more frustrating than uh, trying to debug something as, as complex as the router configuration when it may be simply a problem with a, with a cable. So I advise checking that first. So now we're going to test with the router itself um, so on the on the smartphone the first thing that we need to check is that we're actually connected to the the right network so we go into the Wi-Fi settings and we need to be connected to openwrt so we connect to that now we need to start up our DSLR dashboard software as we can see here and all that we need to do is to connect no not there sorry connect to open wrt so a long press on there that's the server address okay and as before it's discovered the camera and what we need to do is to just switch on the live view and we have the uh, the output from the camera uh, completely wireless so now uh, for the real test in a in a I think a wildlife uh, a wildlife test would be good 